Hello and welcome to another Monster Hunter Portable 3rd! I am MH Geek and here today along with me are two very famous YouTubers as my feline companions! <laughs> so as you can see over here I have um, Evanko and Arax as my two newly recruited feline companions. And um, yeah, basically I just couldn't think of any other better name and um, the default names didn't really sound nice to me, so there we go. The two of them were, um, well basically the two of them have been um, very great YouTubers and yeah, I was sort of inspired by them to start doing this as well. And as such, um, as a form of maybe free advertisement maybe, although I don't know how many how many people are actually gonna watch my videos anyways. So here we go. Um, this is free advertisement for you, um, Arax and Gaijin Hunter. <laughs> I hope you appreciate it. So yes, there is now an urgent quest that has to be tackled, and Azuros is coming closer and closer to the village. And so, the village chief fears for the safety of her villagers, Vi her villagers, yeah, the, my tongue. So yeah, it is not the strongest monster out there, but when it stands on two legs, watch out for its claws, indeed. If you assemble a shock trap, there should be enough to stop it from coming to the village, I'm counting on you. So what is this urgent quest? I have to hunt the Azuros. Um, it's not, it doesn't say that I have to capture the Azuros, so there's no, um, exact need for me to use a shock trap and as such I shall not use a shock trap <laughs> how nice isn't it let's see what else can I buy from this guy um, anything useful well I can get a trap too and you know craft some shock traps with that but um nah I'm good although I would use I'll like um eh I'll get two bug nets oh fine I'll just get get four and Iron pickaxes. Yes, I need those for more materials. So here we go. The first urgent quest for our village, which is to hunt the Azuros. So here, oh well, she did. I mean, well, I I'm, I got a trap anyways. So I have the option to capture it, which um. I wouldn't say no, I mean it's it's not a bad idea, depending on how things turn out. But if I can kill it oh, oh damn I didn't mean to do that. Oh, scrub move. Yeah, but I meant to take the potion instead. So we shall see what happens. If I I seem to be getting wrecked by it totally then we, I guess we would have to capture it. If that is even an option. So yes, um, back to gathering as per normal. And I... Yep, the two of them are just having fun. Having fun with the Gargoyle there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Catching some insects. This will be helpful. God bug. Ooh, God bugs are pretty good and rare. Flash bugs, used for making flash bombs. Definitely useful. Hmm. If I remember correctly, he starts off at the same area, area 5, and so let me just, um, I don't think I need any more Yukumo wood for now, so I'm just gonna equip the poison arrows, and let's get started, whoa, what was that sound? Um, whatever. Where is he? Where's the bear? Oh, could, could, that, could that sound have been the bear? I'd hope so, right? Yeah, it's not him. So, and poor, the two poor felines, you know, following me around, bumbling here and there. So I'm thinking he might be in area 6, but before we head over there, let me just gather some mushrooms from that corner, right here. Right, and there they are. Doing a great job distracting the jug. Oh my god, right. Oh, wait. Is, uh, yeah, okay, good. They're distracting the juggy really, really nicely. So I can gather my mushrooms in peace. And there, Arax is just completely slacking off, lazing on cam. Oh my goodness. 
that that doesn't that doesn't sh you know reflect well upon you. But <laughs> oh, here we go, the bear. This time, though, this time, I will try to break his arms. Oh, swipe! Woo! Fish. Oh, he actually eats fish too. I mean, well, he's a bear, but I never knew. Uh, I've never seen him done it as part of a way to recover his stamina. In any case, I'm just gonna pull off poison arrows for now because I want to try my best and break his arms. I just shot him in the face though. Nope! I wonder how helpful will the two cats be? God damn. Come on, show me your arms! I want to break the arms! Because I didn't get to do it the last time! Oh, swipe! Right. I forgot that I was on. Oh wow, that that bomb actually flinched the bear. Nicely done, two of you. Okay, dodge out of the way. Eric's just um slacking off as per usual. <laughs> Alrighty, what are you gonna do? He actually flinched, so he dropped the shiny, and uh, I'm just gonna. Oh no! Oh no! Not now! No! 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 Okay, that that didn't hurt too bad. And Eric is down. That was fast. Uh, and well, there goes Gajin Hunter as well. <laughs> it's me versus the bear. Oh, he's enraged. The bear's enraged. Doesn't mean I can't stop him. As it doesn't mean I can't break his arms. Yep. Dodge. Oh wait, another roll. I was expecting him to bear hug. There we go. Charge into a bear hug. Bear hug, if not hug. Oh my god, did it. Darn, that hurt. It's gonna swipe, swipe, swipe. Whoa, shite, those were fast. That was really close. Is it just me or did the difficulty just went up like quite a notch right here? Oh my goodness, no no no. Okay. Got you in the arms again. Whoa, that was a really far one. Nope. Not today, bear, not today. I need to break your arms. Well not need, but I would like to. Oh, I flinched him right in the middle of that. Nice. Oh, he's not happy about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Bear hug again. Sure. Just don't hug me. Where are you headed to? Okay. Gonna do the fury swipes. Three and three times is all you got. Just gonna keep aiming for his arms. Nice bomb right there. Another bomb, ooh, sweet. Uh, the arms though, they are tough. Got him in the back. He's doing another bear hug. What's he up to now? And rage again. Shooting him in the arm. Charging. The jacket, oh my, no! Whoa! That was some legit sick dodges. I, you gotta admit. <laughs> oh, is he, is he gonna get away? Yeah, he's running away. Alright. Gonna pop another rush in again. And uh... A first aid mat, cause why not? Well, I'm not using any pain balls because um... This guy doesn't really go very far, so... I don't see a need to use pain balls to track after him. Unlike Great Jaggi, who which um, he can disappear from one area and like turn up in somewhere else completely random. Oh, oh, hey, 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 where are you going? Oh, you're hungry. Let me 
just take time to shoot your arms while you're there enjoying your honey. My god, are they not gonna break yet? My stamina is getting a bit low which makes me kind of worried. And his arms are still not broken. Oh, he flinched again there? Oh, he's angry again. One, two, three, four. So he swipes four times when he's angry and three times when he's not. But still equally scary. Bear hug. Oh, shikes. I meant. Oh, he's limping. He's limping. Can I break his arm before he dies? Please, that would be very nice. Ah, damn it. The mic. Well, it's alright. Just gonna collect whatever else I can right now. Seems like Gadget Hunter is taking a rest right there. <laughs> and Eric is desperately trying to get a Banabra. <laughs> That's kind of funny. What's he up to now? Oh well. Let's just carry on and get that bear. Here we go. Roar. You gonna offer me the arm of yours? Nope, apparently not. Bear, bear hugs. Ah, still not bringing the arm yet though. This is tough. No, I don't. I don't want your butt. Stop showing me your butt. Ah, come on, give me your arm. I want the arm. Where are you going? Oh, another reason why I recruited the cats so early is because um, they gain experience and they level up as they as they um do, do, oh they they do quests with you and um nice shot whoever did it just gonna you know be sad that I didn't manage to break the arms again which was me oh well. Kinda unfortunate. Well, at least I didn't fail the mission, so that's uh, that's not too bad. Oh dear, Jagia, yeah, don't, 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 don't interrupt me while I, while I get the stuff here. There's no herbs. Is there any other material that I can get from this area? Um, ooh, nice bombs. Uh, I think maybe the bombs are a bit too strong. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, mining point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I want some ores. Bombstone piece, what's that? Iron ore. Another bombstone piece. I've actually I don't remember much about this game, so Yeah, I don't remember much about the items as well. Besides the Yukumo wood, that that's um really completely trademarked, so trademark as in Yeah, it's it's Yukumo village, Yukumo wood makes sense. Uh-huh. I hope it does to you. Bone bone. Shell, shell, brace, uh huh. Oh, yes, Fisherman's stream. I would like to save, thank you very much. And I wonder if there's time for another another quest, that is. Um, if not, oh, a magazine's been added to my bookshelf. Well, let's see what has this guy got to say to us. Oh, before that, let's check the egg. Uh, an, an egg, yay! Alright, so ah, look who it is. So Yukumo points can be used in many different ways, exchanging for items and upgrading the farm. So I can, yeah, you can go to him to exchange points for armor spheres, which can be used to upgrade items at the blacksmith. Uh, not items, but equipment. Yeah. So renovate. I can actually add one more field, one more field row. I can get black bark perfume, um, mushroom log. Yes, please, mushroom log. Why mushroom log? It's because I need mushrooms. Yes, as simple as that. So time to visit the Yukumo farm. And there we go. There are my, uh, the two of them slacking off right now. Tsk, tsk. I'll give them jobs and not jobs, um, workouts to do. And there is the mushroom logs in place. 
So when there are mushroom logs, I can finally use the mushroom shed to get mushrooms. And mushrooms are such as, such as nitro shrooms. Yes, nitro shrooms are really important for bow users because they can be used to craft um, a air power power coatings. Yes, power coatings. Hmm. I totally did not forget that for a moment. So let's see. I can train them. Um, I can train them to do boxing, to do body build, to do sit ups, sing, swinging, meditation. Um, I guess right now one of the most important things to do is to actually get them to be more tanky so they don't die as quickly so I think um, boxing is a good way yes no not boxing sit-ups sit-ups yeah I'll get but you can only have one guy doing one thing at one time no they can do both ah. nah I'll get I'll get Alex to do meditation so you can get more skill points and with more skill points you can actually get skills so yeah so they don't have many many comrade points now to learn skills so yeah I'll like to change that soon and <laughs> look at him floating and meditating amazing well um, there we go have Gaijin Hunter taking a rest after doing a couple of sit-ups okay so here we go mushroom logs I can gather the mushrooms from here and Blue mushrooms and some para shrooms definitely useful as well. Can be used to make uh to make paralyzed coatings and uh, a couple of other other stuff that I don't remember. I believe tranquilizer bombs use them as well. Not too sure. All right, let me just um, fertilize the ground with uh, uh, not worms but dung and uh, what else can I get? Hypnotic pollen. Ooh. Um. I don't know, I don't really know what's it for, but why not just plant it, I guess. Uh-huh. And here, let's get the fish. Hey. This sounds so cute, the characters in this game. Not all, but most of them. Um, I don't have the... I don't have many things unlocked yet, but soon they'll slowly appear one by one as I unlock. As I unlock them, yeah. Was that. So I can also toss in uh, honey into this uh, trap to make it even more effective. So yeah. And here I can mine the ores. So I, let me just quickly do that. Iron ore, stone, not very helpful. Meshalite. Yeah, meshalite is useful. I believe I need meshalite for a couple of things. Um, in upgrading items, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, so let me now just take a quick look at the blacksmith and see if I can upgrade any weapons. Oh, they have all things to say to me. So yeah, you are good. Uh, keep up the good work, thank you. So a little present. Ooh, what is it? Armor spheres. Nice. So I get armor spheres and uh, I can use them to increase my weapons' attack power or my armor's defense level. So yeah, um, you can't do the increased attack power for weapons anymore in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, but you can do so in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Like, you see over here I have this increased attack option, where it will increase the, uh, the attack power of the weapon by I believe 25? Yes, from... oh 15 sorry. From 75 to 80, from 70 to 85, 75, oh my gosh. So yeah. And so, I can't upgrade it to either the Yukumo bow nor the sponge gear yet. But uh, yeah, I hope that will change soon. Oh yeah, I need Mesh Light all for, for this, I guess. If I'm intending to upgrade it this way. Mm, let's see, armor. I can't craft anything either, except for like this. Chainmail headgear. Which, uh, does it provide me with any useful skills? Let's check the Health, combos, not that useful I guess. What would be useful is a uh, gathering, KO, nah. I don't really use KO a lot. Pellet. 
Reload speed. Alloy. Ooh. This might be a useful set. For a beginner. Alternatively, the Yukumo, not Yukumo, the Azuro set gives um, defense, which is not that bad either. Hmm, oh, I'm gonna need Banabra shells and Killer Beetles to do that though, which is gonna be troublesome. Jumbo Bone, Carpenter Bar, what else? Al Alteroth Stomach. If I'm not wrong, Alteroths are the ant like monsters. Uh, more carpenter bugs and uh, yeah, Banabra nonsense and Azuros brace, which are basically his arms. All right, more speech. Um, yes, I can see in your face. Uh huh. It's a high level quest. Upgrade your weapons armor. Fortunately, there are new weapons available, and yeah, you can upgrade them. And you know that already. Okay, you're welcome. But I don't think I need anything from you right now. So the village chief has some things to say to us as well, but um. I think I'm gonna call it a day here, and thank you so much for watching. So, if you enjoyed, um, please like, comment, subscribe, leave, um, you know, constructive criticisms is fine, and that would be really helpful in helping me improve my videos in the future. So, yep, that is it from me, MH Geek signing out.